guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my overview slash review of the book Crave by Tracy Wolf. I don't know why I keep looking at it like I don't know it. Okay, so my first initial impressions is that, okay, cool. It's going to be another vampire book. So excited. Everyone's hyping it up right now, so I picked it up. I did not know it was going to be like a high school version of it i guess i guess that's what um so this is basically about a girl that her parents died so she moves to a whole new state from san diego california all the way to alaska where she lives with her uncle and cousin but they live at like an academy somewhere in alaska so it is very hidden it's a hidden place and you literally just live in that academy. So that was really interesting. I thought it was really cute and at some points I wanted it to go a little bit more but it's a high school young adult book so I don't even think it could go a little bit farther but I really enjoyed this book. This had me laughing, this had me so nervous and I was giggling and all that freaking out and I really enjoyed the book. I One thing that I did not really enjoy was that some of the things that she was explaining was just like too much. It was just extra, extra paragraphs that did not need to be there. So I found myself skipping a bunch of paragraphs. So that's something. Another thing is that it took me a hot minute to get into this book. I think like after 150 pages is when I really got into the book and it was literally chapter 20. So I count that as a slow burner for me. Um, so glad that I actually read the whole book because I almost DNF'd it, but I thought, why not? Let's just try to, try to get more information. So I did, and I really enjoyed it. At the end, oh my gosh, I wanted more. I wanted more, I wanted more relationship but this was really cute and at the end the last pages I was screaming I was screaming I can't believe what happened I'm shook I read literally this whole book yesterday which is over how many pages 600 pages Ugh. and I just thought it was great this is a really good book I gave this book five stars because it kept me interested throughout the whole book even though i had some parts where i was skimming through i really enjoyed this and i'm glad this is my first five star book of the year that i read and i'm definitely going to finish the series i am kind of disappointed though that my stores my local grocery stores did not have the second book because for a few months i've, I've been seeing the second book on the shelves but today when i went to go pick it up it wasn't there so I'm just going to have to order this on Amazon and I'm so excited to continue this series. I give it a five stars. Yes, I do. And I think this book is getting me, what is going on? My hair is so staticky. I think this book is the one that is going to get me out of my reading slump. So I'm happy. I'm so happy about this. I enjoyed this book and I highly recommend this book. So the next book that I'm reading right now is Neon Gods by Katie Robert. The book is being hyped up so much right now and I am loving it so far. I'm just a few pages in and it's really good. Very interesting. So maybe I'll do a reading vlog on that because I have not done a reading vlog in so long. But alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what book you're reading right now and also let me know if you read this book. If you didn't. Let me know what you're reading or what books you recommend with the romance, adult romance, vampires, um, besides Twilight because I already read Twilight and I love that series. Um, that's it for me and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.